Delicious move. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to the Road to Glory. Before we do anything here, um, for the next couple of minutes, I'm going to react to uh, the guy I played, the last guy I played in Weekend League. Uh, his name is Cami Lane. His link is in the description. He doesn't know I'm doing this, so if you want to go over and check out his stream, you can do. I'm not sure of his, uh, his stream schedule or anything like that, but if you guys want to go check out his stream, the link is in the description. Now, this was the win that got us... Uh, gold three. That's his team right there. I know it's a little bit dimmed with the pause or play button in the middle of it, but um, you know it's a decent side. I'm not sure of that Lewandowski off chem. I don't know why he's he's got him there. He must be untradeable or something, and he just wants to use him, which is fair enough. But I just I can't really. I hate using Mares off chem, and that's only seven. I dread to think what Lewandowski's on right there. But uh, his reactions to some of the things are uh, quite interesting to say the least, because he thinks we're a top 100 player. Which, you know, we're not. We're, we're literally a gold three play. You know, I, I mean, I could potentially go higher, but I never do. Uh, so, yeah, I'm hoping not to get copyright striked here because um, there is copyright music being played in the background. But I'm hoping to sort of avoid that. If he just goes into a game right here. So here we go. Oh, my God. Look at this team. Stevie G as well. <laughs> See, I don't think... That team is that impressive, to be fair. I mean, it's got there's icons in there, and you, your eyes are immediately drawn to the icons. But they're not good icons, you know. Prime Yari Lippmann is decent. Baby Gerard isn't great. Baby Burkamp isn't great. And that's when the first comment actually comes out about us being potentially a top 100 player. So Yari Lippmann and with a goal. It's a time finesse as well, which might give him some reason to believe that we are. And there it is. Bang. Back of the net. He's not happy about it. As you can see. I think this is a top 100 player, to be honest. Yeah. Well, you're wrong. Because <laughs> we're, we're not. We're not a top 100 player at all. To be fair, some of the things I was doing in this game were just... I mean, they were diabolical. I was not playing well at all. I was very, very lucky to actually come away with a win. I think this is the goal coming up as well. And it took me by surprise. But it took him by surprise as well. Look at his reaction when he scores this. <sighs> Somebody clip that. He did, I mean, he didn't even expect to score it. So how was I expected? To, how was I expected to defend against it? Somebody clip that. So right here, I think, is where we start applying a little bit of pressure. I think we actually get the goal. I think it goes in around 56 minutes. So Alexandra brings it down the left-hand side. Good bit of football inside. Bergkamp with a nice touch to Lippmann, and that's in. The song put me off. To be fair, I was thinking it when I watched it back, a, a Christmas song came on and I thought that's not going to go down well. And I, it would annoy me as well, so obviously annoyed him, so he oh, blames the song. So this is the third goal. Um, Thanks. Game just fucks me over again, as per usual. He's not happy about it, but uh, to be fair, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think the game really did screw him over there, to be fair. And you, you, I think if he was to watch this back, he probably would be like, okay, yeah, fair enough. But it's like, I do it all the time. In the moment, you like you blame the game. This really, really annoys him. He hates this. You dirty, sweaty, fucking cunt. <laughs> you fucking dirty, sweaty cunt. I can't <laughs> say what I was going to say. I would get banned. Uh, I'm, I'm exactly the same. I am. I'm exactly the same. But if he was in that situation, he would have done exactly the same thing. Ah. Oh, um... I mean, yeah, there's 20 more minutes. If you want to watch the whole thing, like I said, the link is down below. But um, that's, yeah, that, that's that's basically the reaction of um, of him to, to my goals. The, there's a bit more where he talks about the game screwed him over, me being, again, another top 100 player. I don't know where he's getting that from. That thing right there, he really didn't like that. He said he, he called me stupid for trying that, but you know I was four two up. I was always going to give it a go. Anyway, so before we dive into the game itself, and uh, I show you my coin balance, which has now gone up substantially because I've sold the entire team. No, can you imagine? Sold one player in particular. I think you know who it is, but still, um, not that we've talked about it much to be honest. But it was just like a flippant comment, and all of a sudden I've just gone and done it. So I'm just going to go through some of the comments. Um, I'm gonna, I, you know, I tend to do this when we get a. Uh, sort of a lull in content. There's a lot of leaks going out right now. Team of the Year could be this week. Uh, so, you know, you, ne you never know. We might get a lot of stuff in the next coming days. But for right now, we don't really have an awful lot until rewards come out. So, a lot of people wanted me to react to the Twitch guy, which we did. Like, it was never going to be anything fantastic. But, um, yeah, 
it was there. If, if if I ever play someone else again, I will look at it if it's entertaining, then I'll do it. Why not? But uh, what else do we have here? Can we get a... This is from Hugh. Can we get a Peter Crouch at Striker Weekend League Adventure? Do you know what? Nothing would... Uh, nothing would interest me more, actually, than to do something like that. Not necessarily to build a team whereby it's almost impossible for me to win, but to pick, like, one, maybe two players that are, you know, banter players, essentially, like Peter Crouch, and throw him in and just see how he performs. I'll tell you what I might do this weekend if I have time. Not sure if I will. Maybe I will, actually. Think, yeah, I think I probably will. I think what I'll do, I'll get to 14 wins, and then... Because there's a bit of a lull, you know, Monday normally we finish off um, weekend league games, I tell you what I finish, blah, blah, blah. Tuesday, there's not an awful lot to do. Wednesday, there's not an awful lot to do. So what I might do is actually play the rest of the weekend league with a couple of banter players in there. I think Peter Crouch could be, uh, could be one of them, could be the first player. He'll go in and then we'll play the rest of the games or at least as many of the games as I possibly can with Crouch up front just to see how he does and just have a bit of a laugh with it. Um, and then that'll be essentially that'll be Tuesday's Road to Glory content done. So it's like I've, you know, sometimes I sacrifice it because I don't have time to do it. But it's not because I, I don't literally have time. I have to do other things for videos. But if I'm doing that, then do you know what I mean? It's a video. It doesn't matter. Um, we might do that. Uh, Zeno Duck says, if I'm mispronouncing your name, I do apologize. It's weird how you say X as a Z, or a Z, rather, isn't it? Anyway, uh, like a Xenomorph, you know? Like alien? No, no fine. Um, with the whole concept of having fun with different players, I feel like changing up your team every two weeks also could be very interesting for the series. I'm I'm into this, to a certain degree. Uh, I, I, I am. I, I, I don't like switching my team too much because it becomes a little bit too unfamiliar. If I go and do a squad builder and I haven't used half the players before, I find it very difficult to adapt to it because I don't know what players I'm meant to be controlling. Sort of CDM-wise, I hammer the CDMs. I can I constantly control them. So I feel like maybe I would need to change one or two players here or, here or there. I, I don't think I would ever change a lot of players at one time, maybe one player a week or one player every other few days or something. Uh, maybe get Salah at right wing or get Neymar at left wing and Mares right wing. The One of the, the main points of me wanting to sell Mbappe wasn't necessarily because I didn't like him or that he wasn't good enough. It's because I wanted Mares on chem. Mares off chem was still absolutely fantastic, but if I could get Mares on chem, just imagine how good he would be was my thought process. So that was why... So Salah, as much as I like, you know, I'm a Liverpool fan. I love Salah, but I I don't want him anywhere near my team unless I can get the striker version and then maybe work something out there. But I, I I'm actually really enjoying Dennis Bergkamp right now. Which, you know, a few days ago we were all ready to sell Dennis Bergkamp, and I was looking to sell him. In fact, I was waiting for his price to go above 800k again, and I was going to get rid of him. It, it didn't. We kept him, and I'm glad I did. Um, how many more? How many more? Uh, yeah, here we go. This is an interesting one. Sell Mbappe and play Mares on 10 chem and then buy Perisic, for example. One of the best Road to Glories on YouTube. Thank you very much, Charlie, for the kind words. But underneath, um, and he did say an example, but uh, he says, how many times does he have to say that he doesn't like Perisic before people start taking him seriously? Uh, I get at least once. There we go. Boom. There it is. There's another one. Preba, right? And, and this guy, this guy watches every single episode of the road to glory probably watches every other video you know talks to me on twitter constantly he knows he knows and yet he's still saying get perisic i i don't like perisic he's trash for me personally um right so lucas says you're not liking mbappe because his strength is finishing in the box not time finesses from outside the box ps loving the content keep up the great work thanks for the kind words my friend no uh i i liked mbappe nothing wrong with him his his time finesse shots are actually fantastic i just don't relate to him is basically what i'm getting at here he is a meta player that you are meant to like in game and you're meant to want to to strive for if i gave most of the people watching this right now a i don't know three four million coins I would say most of the teams that came back to me would look the same. They would be Mbappe. They would be Condogbia. You know, you'd have those, type, maybe um, Van Dijk at centre-back. You'd have those exact same players. Not because people like them, 
not because people enjoy watching them in real life, but because they feel like those are the players they need to be buying because they are quote unquote the best meta players in the game. So me going after Mbappe in the first place was a because it fit chem wise before we went after Dennis Burkamp, I needed the link to Danny Alves. It turns out I didn't need that, but I'd already sort of decided on it, so I went with it. But I I liked him. He he felt very good. He was a good player. The, the problem is, like I said, I, do, I just don't relate to him. You know, I don't watch him enough in real life. I don't really know what he's all about. I used to love watching Dennis Bergkamp, love watching Yari Littman and Steven Gerrard, the likes. So I know how they play. Mares, Mares is a bit different because he's got the, um, I don't know, he feels different in game and he's Premier League. So I've seen him a lot more. And I know how he plays and how he meant to play with... Not I'm meant to play with him, but how he plays in real life. So I kind of... I don't know. It just feels... Do you know what I mean? It's because if I don't watch him in real life, I don't have any... There's no There's no relationship there. I just don't care, you know? If that makes sense. So I feel like getting someone on that left side who I actually know uh, would make me play with him or want to play with him better and, and, and things like that. A lot of people are saying Neymar here. You can get Neymar for the left side, maybe uh, switch him and Littman in in-game and use his five-star weak foot... For better finesse opportunities. Not quite sure why I would want to switch Lippmann to the left side and then put Neymar in the middle. How about that scream Lil Shakiri? Uh, I fell in love with him and played over 300 games because you recommended him. Yeah, no, I do. I really like Shakiri. Unfortunately, let me switch back to the uh, to the in game here. Uh, unfortunately, he has gone up in price. Uh, he's. I mean, have a look. Where are we? So. I really liked him. He was fantastic for me. The issue with the Shakiri card is it's only as good for as long as they don't switch it. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's up, up to like a hundred and something thousand coins right now. But he has 99 long shots and 99 shot power, which is what I really liked about him. Of course, he's got great stamina, great strength. He's not the slowest player in the world. He was insane off the bench. And he was good starting as well. But... As soon as they switch the stats on this, like for instance, say they take off the shooting and they give it to his passing, still good, but his shooting then becomes not null and void necessarily, but nowhere near as good as what this scream was. And that's what I really liked about him. He scored so many goals for me. I, I don't want to waste your time too much here. I have no idea how long this episode's going to be, but I've, I've had to cut that. You probably would have seen a cut in there. A second ago because I just blabbed on far too long. Let me just show you what I've done. I've sold Mbappe. Uh, whether you wanted me to or not is, well, now irrelevant, of course. But um, he's gone. And it's not because I don't like him. It, it, it's just because I don't relate to him. And that's the only reason. I just do not relate to him in-game. So my my ethos at the moment is build a team that you enjoy, right? Build build the whole thing around players you like to grow up watching, you, you still like watching, or that are just so much fun in game, or that I have a history with in FIFA, right? So, you all know the story. Liverpool fan Gerard, Liverpool fan favorite player of all time, Yari Litmanen. Love Dennis Bergkamp growing up, fantastic. This defense is kind of irrelevant. Skriniar is actually my favorite current centre back in the world. Yes, even ahead of Van Dijk. Handanovic is just fantastic in game. Thiago Silva was just put on a plate for us because of that Dani Alves card. Alexandro is the, is the best that we can get there without spending stupid stupid money on uh, on minimal upgrades like his 88 rated in form for instance i mean to be fair that's probably not a minimal upgrade anymore because the 87 would have been the 88 would actually be a decent card but still mares is in there because a he's a red player pick b his time finesse shots are out of this world and C, I don't need a C because A and B were so great you know he's not necessarily a player that i like in fact i think he's an absolute douchebag in real life uh, from what i've seen in interviews he just He's just an ass. But um, as far as footballing ability is concerned, you can't deny that. And he plays well in game and I actually do enjoy using him. Uh, I think it's, again, because he has five-star skills, he's just a lot of fun to use. His dribbling is very, very good. Now, this left-hand side is up for debate. Yes, I have Neymar in there right now, and I am leaning towards Neymar, but there are so many other options. Those are the three main candidates, I would say. But there is another one that I've just sort of had a look at. And I didn't realize he had a UCL live card. And I was looking at his stats. Okay, three-star skill moves already. That's a massive turnoff for me. But four-star skill move. No, sorry, three-star weak foot. Four-star skill moves is decent. The weak foot is a little bit annoying. Um, he has better shot power on long shots than any of those candidates we just said. 
He's got really good dribbling stats across the board, better physicals than any of those players we've just mentioned, apart from maybe Nedved. And uh, again, all round, decent player. With a chem style, turns into a fantastic player. Price tag, 287,000 coins for the cheapest, and he already comes pre-built with a Hawk chem style, which I may or may not want to keep on there. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But either way, that 287,000 coins leaves us with the best part of 500,000 coins spare to do something else with. I don't know what, because I don't... I mean, I'm looking at that. I'm thinking, well, what do I want to improve? We could get the 88 Alexandra. We could wait for re rewards and see what happens. We could sell Dennis Bergkamp and then go after a 1.3, maybe even a 1.4 after rewards million coin icon. Ooh, didn't think of that. That's sexy. Okay, so what I'm going to do first before I decide on this, I'm going to assess the icon situation for strikers. I will look at cams just in case as well. But we're going to have 1.3 million. If we buy Alexis Sanchez, by the time I decide to buy him, <laughs> that uh, that 287 will be gone. I'll have to spend over 300k on him. But either way, if we buy that 200, whatever it is, Alexis Sanchez, we'll roughly, if we sell Bergkamp for even 750, we're losing nearly 100,000 coins on him. But still, if we can sell him for 750, we'll be on 1.3 million on Thursday with rewards before we open a pack, right? So let's have a look to see what we can get for upwards of 1.3 million. And oh my goodness, can we get some quality. So we get we can get the 87 uh, Butragueno for 1.1. Only has three star skills, but has a five star weak foot. I would actually take that compromise. Doesn't have the best of uh, stamina or long shots, so instantly don't really want to get him. Hernan Crespo is definitely an option. I think that's the prime Hernandez. He was absolutely insane on FIFA 18. Um, but whether that will actually translate or correlate rather into FIFA 19, I don't know. Uh, what other options do we have here? Michael Owen is someone that I have considered but kind of ruled out. Louis Figo is interesting. Not quite sure what version of Louis Figo that is. That would leave us with nearly 400, well, 300-ish, three, three and a half left over. Mm, right footed, four star, four star, medium, low. Uh, doesn't have the best curve, so instantly don't want that card. Zola is a class act in this game. Doesn't have massive composure. But uh, he has actually a really good card. The only issue, I, I'd, be, I'd be a bit fearful of height and the fact that we don't have an awful lot in the team as it is. Um, what other options do we have? We could go with a Shearer. Uh, again, it's it's not like the skillful, weak foot player that you want. But as far as like shot power, long range shooting, curve and composure are concerned, he's got it all. So, you know, and again, a player that I actually really enjoy. There, there aren't that many options, really, considering how much I've just gone up in price there. Because we were looking for icons about 800, 900k. And we've basically got the same ones. There, there's a big jump between the these icons that you're seeing and the big boys. I'd love to know the cheapest Ronaldinho. I really would. Let's just do that for a, for a laugh. I think what I'm going to do... I think I am going to go out. Let me, what's the baby Ronaldinho? 89. Let's just get rid of that. Get rid of that. I think what I'm going to do. Oh, 1.9. We'd be. So, oh, God. That's. Oh, dear. Yeah, this, this Ronaldinho doesn't have the pace, though. I mean, on paper, it's good. But there are. I mean, that Socrates card is cheaper and better on paper, right? He has five star skills, of course. He's got a four star weak foot, medium, low, which is decent. But that is not the Ronaldinho you want. You want any of the other two versions. So the mid or the, obviously the prime is the 94 left wing version, right? But the 91, this is the one that I would want. It's central, but it's 3.6. That is, I mean, that's that's more than Ronaldo cost. We are never going to get this card, which is just so unfortunate because it's the one that you, you I'd love to, a high low as well. I would love to have that as my striker. That would be insane. 93 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. I mean, we we could get it if we sold everything, but we'd then be left with, you know, a team of crouches around Ronaldinho. <laughs> Wouldn't be the end of the world, but still, uh, not not what I want to do. I think what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to buy Alexi Sanchez. I want Neymar. I really do. But I, would, I think I'd much rather get Alexi Sanchez in there for now and then... Be able to play games, enjoy playing games, and then maybe go and get a much better icon than Dennis Bergkamp, and then reassess the left wing situation, 
in time. I mean, you never know on Thursday we could get a decent red player pick that actually makes us want to get rid of Alexi Sanchez anyway. So, you know, there's that. But the, the beauty of this, as opposed to that Neymar card, is this is not going to lose its value. Uh, I don't know why I went minimum 295. Uh, this, this won't lose its value. If anything, this will increase in value. Yeah, so 287. And there it is. We, we're left with 541,000 coins. To be fair, we're not even that far away from buying Neymar as well as keeping this Alexi Sanchez card anyway. So there is that. Um, let's go and, and put him into the team. I'm not going to play a game with it right now uh, because the episode's dragged on a little bit, I feel. I've just been talking absolute nonsense. But in tomorrow's episode, I will have some gameplay for you. That is the new team. W unless we pack something ridiculous on Thursday, I think we'll probably end up going into the weekend league with that team. Depends on how much money we can generate from the packs that we get or whether they say that they're going to release team of the year on Friday. We could end up selling Dennis Bergkamp. As I've worked out, if we can get 7... Oh, I was going to say 750. He's now down to 710. Ridiculous. We've lost so much money on that Dennis Bergkamp card. It's ridiculous. But... It's what FIFA's all about. At least we're having fun with it. So we do have players to sell. Not many, but we do have a few. And now we have we have a complete team. Is that better than the team we just had? Probably not, but we have a lot of money to spend. And we could improve on that Dennis Bergkamp massively if we get something decent on Thursday. So for the time being, that's it. Let me know whether you think I've made a mistake with that Sanchez card. My thought process, just once again, just to reiterate, we won't lose money on it. If anything, we'll make money on it. And if I decide I don't like him, guess what? I can sell it probably for more than I bought him for and go buy Neymar. I was just a little bit afraid that if they re if they release promos, they do something that we're not expecting, that Neymar card could go down in price. This won't, as it's not in packs anymore. That was my thought process. If you have enjoyed the episode, do me a favor and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. <laughs>